the Pavanan Trap movie starts with air. 1986 crossing Jap Neck and Al Azwa jeans were found. Both of them soon fell in love and got married. After some time, their twin daughters are born, whom he names Heli and Annie. The relationship between Nick and Elizabeth begins to deteriorate, and due to jealousy, they get divorced and both get a daughter each. Nick raises Haley in a charming house located in the wine region of York, California, while Elizabeth takes Anya to the vibrant city of London, where they establish their new home. It is worth noting that Nick and Elizabeth, who used to be married, have completely severed all communication and are unaware of the existence of their daughter's identical twin. Remarkably, at the time of this encounter, both girls have reached the age of 11 years and 9 months. By a stroke of fate, they find themselves attending the same summer camp, leading to their eventual meeting. However, due to their contrasting personalities, they do not particularly warm up to each other. Different. Was. Healy is a cool and bubbly girl while Annie is quite decently unsophisticated. Annie defeats Healy in a fencing match, after which they are surprised to see each other for the first time. All the other children were also surprised to see that both of them looked exactly alike. After this, a competition begins between the two to prove themselves better. Both of them play a lot of pranks on each other. Once Haley and her friends make a dangerous plan which hurts the film's director and his assistant. As punishment, Heli and Annie are locked in an isolation hut where they had to live together. After spending some time together, Annie and Healy become friends. Both of them tell each other about themselves. Annie says that her mom is a famous designer of London, and Heli tells that she lives with her dad in California. His dad has a wine business, and he lives in a wine or house only. Girls find that their birthday is also at the same age. Any never met the person who died, but he kept his pictures with him. Heli had also secretly taken out Mum's pictures from Dad's drawer and kept them with herself. When they take out these pictures, it was the same photograph which was taken at their parents' wedding. They recognize their Mum and Dad as Helio and are very happy to know that they are twins. Anyi always wanted that she could meet her death. She felt the lack of her Libium very much. Then Heli gives the idea that they should switch from the police. After the summer camp, Heli will go to London, to Mom and any California. She spends all her time preparing to switch places to meet her death. Both trends give each other information about their lives so that their parents do not know that they have switched places. They share their lifestyle, timetable, and all other things so that they do not make any mistakes. But they... They knew that sooner or later their parents will come to know about this, but this is their plan, that when their parents come to know about this reality, then both of them will have to meet, and maybe in this way both of them will be patched up, and all four of them will remain together as a happy family. Heli trims Annie's hair and styles her ears in a way that resembles her own appearance. The eight weeks of summer camp swiftly come to a close, and Annie returns to her residence. When individuals from California and Heli's hometown of London reunite with their parents, there is a noticeable change in their demeanor. However, this matter is not given much attention, and instead they continue to offer guidance to one another through telephone conversations. The encounter with any death brought immense joy, and being in the company of Heli as her mother made Annie feel exceptionally content. An encounter takes place between Anya and Heli's housekeeper, and it is a common occurrence to find another woman in the house accompanying her father. Upon investigation, it is revealed that this woman is a publicist who has been hired by his father. The publicist goes by the name of Meredith. Neck and Meredith appear to have a gloomy demeanor, indicating a potential romantic involvement between them. Anya is discontented with the situation as she longs for her parents to reconcile. When she goes to meet Meredith, she finds Meredith very clever. Any behaves very rudely and also tells the marriage that because of her we keep dating often, so she is not a special lady but calls any Heli and tells her the whole situation. But right now, Heli is enjoying a lot in London with Mum. She didn't want to come back. In such a situation, any situation will have to be handled. He has been attempting to inform her about his upcoming marriage, but someone always manages to divert the conversation. She hopes to avoid this fear. Observe certain discrepancies in things such as his manner of speech, his preferred cuisine, and so on. Eventually, everything reveals that it is not real. She discloses the entire narrative to Chiz, who has been the caretaker of this residence since the birth of Heli and Annie. 
Chiz is delighted to meet Annie and pledges to keep this secret confidential from everyone. Finally, Dad tells Annie that he is going to marry her. Enie gets very angry after hearing this and throws tantrums. She also doesn't like Mary Did at all because she realizes that Mary Did also doesn't want her interference. She is a gold digger who is marrying Mix for his money. On the other hand, Haley is living happily in London with her mother, Buckler Martin, and her maternal grandfather. Bathlam Margin also notes some changes in it. They suspect that something is wrong. N tells Helly on call that Dad has planned to marry her. Heavy also gets worried that they have to handle the situation quickly. Meanwhile, Granth overhears their conversation, and finally Helicon has to tell the whole story. Grand asks Paheli to tell Mum the truth to everyone. Opening follows Grandpa's advice and tells Mum the truth that she is nobody. Alice Bat is very happy to meet her second daughter. She loves him very much. Martin and Grand also start crying tears of happiness, but now they have to go to California for any reason. Elizabeth Hellesy says to call and inform Dad about her arrival. Meanwhile, Elizabeth is very anxious about how she will face her ex-husband. His butler Martin calms him down and also helps him in packing. Alazoad asks Martin to come with them. Martin is an old employee of hers and is like a friend. His moral support is very important for eligible. Helly tells that she has talked to death and they will meet in San Francisco. On the other hand, she tells any death that they will go to San Francisco for a few days with the married person where they will be able to discuss the marriage and will also be able to meet the married parents. Nick neither knows about Elizabeth and Harley's arrival nor about the prince switching places. Nick comes to the hotel with Annie, Cheesy and his dog and meets the married parents. With so much malice she reaches there with B. Martin and Helly. She sees Nick and Madrid together in the elevator. Nick also sees her and they were together heavily. Now she asks them the truth separately, because looking at Nick it seemed that he had no idea about her coming here. So the girls confess that they did not tell anything to Dad. Friend and Elizabeth meet near the pool. Elizabeth tells him the whole story of how the girls switched from the play and brought them here. The mechanic is entitled, he was very happy to meet anyone and eligible, so marriage also comes there. No, he gets introduced to anyone and eligible, the meditative bulk is not happy to see them there. But she pretends that everything is fine, and at night they arrange a romantic dinner date for her and Elizabeth. They understand that girls want to see them together. Both of them remember the old days in which there were many good memories. They fell in love very soon and got married immediately, but they got divorced just as soon. They knew that they could not be together anymore. But to keep the girls' hearts, they have dinner together. And on the other hand, Samantha and Martin also spend a lot of time together. And they start having good understanding. Next year, Elizabeth has a desire to travel to London in the company of another person. However, she informs Helion that their intended destination is a camping trip. Traditionally, Elizabeth attends a summer camp annually, but this time she intends to bring her mother and sister along. The four of them begin to prepare for the camping excursion, but their plans are disrupted by the unexpected arrival of Merritt who expresses her disapproval of Nick's decision to join the camping trip with his former partner, X-5. Elizabeth also feels that her plan has been significantly compromised by the interference of marriage and the ensuing rally. He had organized this camping excursion solely with the intention of reconciling his parents. One is compelled to accompany the wedding. While trekking, girls engage in numerous practical jokes related to marriage. Occasionally, she places rocks in his backpack. At times, she places a lizard on his water bottle, and even occasionally includes a mosquito replica in his water bottle. Maridit was extremely displeased with both of them. She wanted to get rid of him. At night, Haley and Anya take down the mattress of Maridit while sleeping, was drifting in the married lake the whole night. When she wakes up in the morning, she gets scared seeing herself in the lake and falls into the water. She was very angry. She goes to Nish and tells him that he will have to choose between marriage and his daughters. He is taken aback by the unexpected behavior of a humble union, and as he comprehends its repercussions, he decides to call off the betrothal. Subsequently, she returns accompanied by her twin daughters, whom she had been caring for during Elizabeth Day. Elizabeth, too, secretly rejoices upon learning of the dissolution of Nick and Meredith's engagement. In Rajkot, he exhibits his assortment of wines to Elizabeth. 
and in that moment they both come to the realization that their sentiments for one another still persist. But Elizabeth says this is better, that they can live their lives as before. He is a little sad, but respects the decision of the eligible. Next year she goes to London with someone eligible. When she reaches home, she is surprised to see that he was already there with Heli. He tells Rajiba that he still regrets this. Why had he not stopped Elizabeth from leaving earlier? Therefore, he does not want to repeat the mistake now. They both reconcile and mend their relationship. Heli, or anyone involved in the plan, was extremely delighted by its success. Nikolai's enters into matrimony once again. Martin proposes in a cliched manner, and the film concludes with this joyous conclusion. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video.